Hello. Today, um, I want to talk about how you can use or you can um, send out the OCI uh, audit logs uh, to Azure Sentinel. I've had a few cases when customers asked for it, so I think it makes sense to uh, show the easiest way. There are a lot of ways to do it, but the easiest way that I found was to use um, uh, Microsoft Functions. OCI event service have the OCI logs to be sent out uh, to the the streaming service in OCI or the OCI audit logs to be sent out to the event service and then uh, have a function read out those logs from again the streaming service. So for this, first you need to create a Microsoft Sentinel instance workspace, which I already have. And then you go into the content hub, then search for Oracle. You have uh, OCI as um, one of the contents in preview mode. You have Oracle database audit and you have WebLogic server. So what happens is you get the uh, analytic rules, uh, data connectors, hunting queries, parsers, and workbooks we created when you have this uh, provisioned. Once you install it, then you get the chance to manage it or you get the manage unlocked, the manage uh, menu unlocked. And then you can see, as you can see here, we have a yellow exclamation point saying this needs to be configured. So for this, don't click on the link itself, but click on the right side because if you click on the link, then it goes into the data connector, which does not give us what we need. So we go back. Then we go and click on the Azure function side. And then we go into the connector page. Then this gives us the step-by-step -step guide on what we need to do both on OCI, which is already here. And we also have what we need to deploy on Azure. I already have this deployed but I'm gonna go over that one more time. So what I need is the workspace keys, which are all right uh, on uh, the Azure side. And here, um, this is gonna use Azure functions. So of course that's gonna inflict some uh, cost on the Azure side. And also this is gonna be using streaming service on OCI, which is gonna inflict a little bit of cost as well. So here, I just need to go into the OCI side Okay, uh, there we go. On the OCI side, I go into analytics and streaming. All right. Um, then I go into whatever compartment I want and create a stream, my Azure demo stream. And then I can select a new pool an existing pool or create a, a new pool. And then create stream. Okay, so once you have that created, I have a lot of uh, streams that are created in my tenancy now. So what you will get is this. So you'll have um, your messages and all coming in here. And then what we need to do is we need to go into logging and go into the service connectors because the service connectors connect the OCI audit to the stream service. Then you can create a stream connector. My demo, my, my, demo and description is stream connector to connect OCI audit logs to streaming service. Resource compartment is going to be um, my own compartment. Source is going to be logging. 
target is going to be the streaming service. Source, so this is going to, you're going to configure the source of the logs, which is going to be root in my case, and log group will be, there you go, audit. And I want all the sub compartments, the audits of the all the sub compartments to be sent out to the streaming service. You can also filter these out you want if you want to filter out by event type by attribute you can do it by all means and then you can select you can use a function if you want to so if you select a function a function is going to be run over here but in my case i don't want a function so i'll just remove this and then once you click on create um, the events are going to be sent from the logging service to the streaming service which I already have here, so I'm not going to do that again. And here is, as you can see, what's happening. And then I go back to the streaming service. I have my Azure stream here, and when you click on load messages, you'll see the number of messages or what's happening here in the messages. So it's, as you can see, the offset is changing. See. 904, that's the message number. So, right, see. Okay, now uh, we need a little bit of, um, we need to have a notepad file, a notepad to be opened up somewhere. Okay, there we go. So we need a few information. So the first thing is, so we have all of this set up. Now we need to create a, a REST API, a private key API key configuration. So for that, you can either go into your own profile and use your own user, or you can create another user and uh, use API keys for that user. In this case, what you can do is add API key download the public and private key, make sure you click on add. And then once that is done, you can leave the configuration file and copy all of this. Once you copy all of this, put that here. You're gonna use it. And then what you need to do is um, go back into the link, then you will have to copy the workspace ID for the Azure side. Keep that somewhere. And then primary key. Keep that somewhere too. Uh, that didn't work. Okay, now it worked. And then the easiest thing, just go and click on deploy to Azure. Now this opens up the functions portal for you to deploy uh, the function that is going to go and connect to the OCI event service, the streaming service. And then that's going to get the logs from the, the, the streaming service and then ingest them into uh, the Azure Sentinel. Okay, so function name OCI logs demo. Uh, at most, okay, D. So work, Sentinel workspace ID, which we already had at right now, here. The shared key, which is the primary key is gonna go here. So the user is the user for Oracle, the OCI, which is going to be found here. Key content is the private key, uh, which you have to, go and um, <clears throat> get it from your downloads. Open with other. And then get the content of the private key to be pasted, passphrase, I don't have one. Fingerprint is the fingerprint that is found here. Tenancy is your tenancy OCID, which is found 
here again. Region, guess what? It's also found in the region over here. Message endpoint and stream OCID. You go back to your streaming service. Go into your Azure stream, which we created. Message endpoint is to be found here. And stream OCID is the stream OCID that is found here. And then click on review and create. Okay, something failed. Okay, so go back. Just change this with a D because the logs are gonna be, because there's, I believe there's a problem with the underscore here. Let's try one more time. Yes. And then we create. So this basically is gonna go and do the same logging twice. Yeah, it doesn't matter. So this is being uh, deployed. So that's gonna go on. And then once that is done, the function is gonna go. So here, I'll just show you the functions, the function app. As you can see, I have one here, which is running. And when you go into the details, you can see that it's just executing every minute. And then that is just getting the logs from the event service in OCI. Again, I'm sorry, I'm calling it an event service, streaming service, and then sending the logs out to Sentinel. And here, as you can see, I have the Sentinel travel workspace. And then when you go into the logs, so better yet, we can go into right here, um, custom logs, OCI logs, here we go, run. OCI logs.cl is created custom logs. So when you query these, you're gonna see a list of, this takes a little while to be populated because of course the logs are being taken in. And here you can see, this is REST API, AD2, compartment, app dev, OKE, whatever. So these are the audit logs that are coming in from OCI from Oracle Cloud side. So that's from 10.45. So again, the customer VMI being created or whatnot. So this is the easiest way that I found to get data or to get the audit logs from OCI to uh, Azure Sentinel. You can also um, go into the content hub. And when you type in Oracle here again, you can see I mentioned this before, database audit and WebLogic server. So if you go here and install this, you also get some rules and uh, you can install the agent on the database, on an Oracle database, which resides in OCI or anywhere. And then get the logs to assist logs, the audit logs, and then to, uh, do the monitoring of the database here in, in Azure. Again, the same thing, but for this, you just need to also configure uh, the database audits, and then these are gonna be uh, shown in. So yeah, if you have any questions on, or anything that you wanna add, please put them in the comment section below. Otherwise, I hope you enjoy this. Thank you.